Day seven of the trial of Michelle Traconis, the woman accused of helping Fotis Dulos cover up the 2019 murder of his estranged wife, Jennifer. Tonight, we're getting a first look at surveillance video that prosecutors are trying to try, ra rather tying to the murder weapon. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has a story now from Stanford Courthouse. May 2019, just hours after Jennifer Farber Dulos disappeared from her home in New Canaan, her estranged husband Fotis drove to Hartford, Albany Avenue. Apparently unaware, it was bristling with surveillance cameras, a thousand of them, monitored at the Hartford Capital City Command Center. Cameras that captured Dulos dumping items in various trash cans. I observed the individual take what appeared to be uh, contractor-style black garbage bags from uh, the rear of his vehicle, square or rectangular um, black rubber mat. Prosecutors contend it was all evidence from the cleaned-up crime scene inside Jennifer's garage. More video shows a homeless man going through one of the trash cans. That man is expected to testify he found a bloody knife and pillow. At one of Dulos's stops, a woman matching Michelle Traconis's description is seen reaching out of the passenger side and touching the sidewalk before Dulos walks to her side of the truck and throws something into a storm drain. It's the first evidence directly connecting Traconis to the alleged cover-up of Jennifer's murder. State police say the evidence recovered from the storm drain were license plates once registered to Fotis Dulos, but doctored to slightly change the numbers. In order to convict Michelle Traconis of murder conspiracy, prosecutors need to convince the jury there was a murder and Fotis Dulos committed it. So in essence, he's on trial as well, four years after dying by suicide. At the courthouse in Stanford, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Well, two jurors were dismissed for various reasons last week, and today another juror told the judge that he just realized he was slightly acquainted with the police witness many years ago. That juror, though, is being allowed to remain on the panel.